hi everyone welcome back to my channel again so in the last couple of video we were discussing about devops project 2 okay so in that we have covered already the two steps and the final step is to automate it and that's going to be an awesome project for you if you're just getting started with devops journey this is going to be really really helpful in your interviews okay so let us go there and understand what is the required step that we need to perform and get the project done okay so let me see you in the documentation so here if you see we have completed till here step two is done okay so we wrote a docker file and which is which is needed to build an image and we are also we also ran the container and we also get this output right so this is what we have the next step is to automate it the automate entire thing that we did in the step two we can automate using a tool called jenkins right so jenkins is a automation tool which is used to automate the process that you saw in the second step right so for that what you have to do is you need to install jenkins on your machine ec2 instance right so it can be the same instance or you can also use another instance there is no dependency like that you can create another ec2 instance launch um, you know jenkins uh, on that particular ec2 instance and then you can also work with that okay so if you do not know how to uh, uh, how to install jenkins i have created a separate video i will drop the link to that video in this box you can go check that out and then you can start here okay and you also need docker hub account which is completely free for usage so uh, docker hub is an uh, it is just like your github so where you can store all your docker images so if you remember in the previous uh, step 2 we created one image right so you if you want to store that image somewhere you will have to use something called as docker hub so it is need not be docker hub there are mul multiple providers also just like uh, github bitbucket all those things so i am going to use docker hub so if you do not know how to create an account and uh, how to create a access key and all uh, i have uh, created a separate video you can go check that out okay so i have done both uh, step 1 and step 2 already okay so if you see this is my jenkins server okay so this is just a java application running on port 8080 so this is my application let's see what we can do next next is to create a new jenkins pipeline so i will have to create a new pipeline for it so how to create a pipeline in jenkins nothing to worry you just have to click on new item i'll just click on new item you will have to provide a name here i'll just provide a name, meaningful name here docker uh, flask app i'll just say flask app okay so let me copy that i might need that in the future also here we are creating a pipeline project so i'll select pipeline i'll click on okay here you need to fill in some details okay i'll just say description as uh, uh, this is my this is my docker flask app demo for youtube family okay so i'm good with that and you don't have to worry about these things right now because we are not going in depth about all these things whatever the things that are required for uh, you know getting the project done i'm only explaining that okay i'm not this is not a jenkins tutorial okay so if you want me to explain jenkins comment down below i will also make a separate video on that okay so now you will have to click on this advanced project option and you will have to provide a display name so i'll just say the same i'll just provide the same name docker flask app okay so we are trying to build a pipeline so the pipeline script can be provided here itself so if you want to automate something you will have to write a script right so for this pipeline we we call that script as a pipeline script it is a groovy script groovy is just like your uh, language okay so python language similar to it not not exactly same right so i'm just making you to understand what it is you can use groovy script to automate this entire process okay so what this groovy script does is it will try and do try and imitate what we were doing in the step two so in the step two if you remember we were cloning the repository first and we were running the application right so we created an image we built an image to be precise 
and we we use that image to run the container right so these things we did but if you want to do using automation you will have to write a script for that so that script we call that as pipeline script so this is the pipe uh, pipe uh, you know jenkins file so we will have to name that uh, script as jenkins file okay so this is how the pipeline script looks so it is just the 20 line uh, code it will create it will do the entire thing for you it is completely automated right i'll just give you a high level overview of what is this script doing okay let me zoom in a bit if you see here pipeline this indicates that it is starting the pipeline here okay agent any any means in Py in jenkins we have something called a smart master slave uh, model where uh, so if you mention agent as any it can run on any nodes that is what it means okay so if you want to specify a particular uh, node you will have to use some other syntax but don't worry as of now okay and we are setting environment variables environment with uh, curly braces and we are setting the environment variables here so in environment variables i am using do docker hub credentials so if you st see in stage two i will have to log into docker hub to push my code right so if you want to push your code to github you will have to provide your username and password right similarly or access tokens similarly if you have to push your image you will have to provide your github uh, sorry docker hub credentials so instead of you know instead of storing that uh, instead of hard coding that what we can do you can pass it as an environment variable and it can fetch from the credentials so in jenkins we have something called as credentials so if i go back to my jenkins i'll just open the dashboard in my new tab here if you see i'll go back uh, one one step back here okay so i'll just go to my jenkins home so here if you click on manage jenkins okay so if you go here all the way down manage credentials here you can provide the credentials just like for example if you want to store your uh, access key id secret access key id so those things you can configure so one one such uh, credential I have stored is docker hub credentials. So if you see here, this is my docker hub credentials So if you do not know how to create create your credentials, I've made a separate video on that So uh, I will make sure to add the link to that in the description. You can go check that out. Okay, so this is where I've sto I'm storing my uh, secret. Okay, so it is fetching my uh, credentials from this particular thing. If you see here, the name is a monk in cloud Docker Hub. If you go back and see, this is what we have specified, a monk in cloud Docker Hub. That is the name that I've given. And this is this uh, asterisk that you're seeing, it is exactly my password, okay? So that is where it is getting the password. And this pipeline is having different stages. So the first stage is to build that image, right? So if you remember in the step two, we built the image first time, right? So the command that we uh, used, if you remember, we used a Docker build, but there we used some other tag. But here, as this is a pipeline, it should work for multiple builds. So what I'm doing is I'm adding build number here. What is build number, right? So when you uh, when you run that uh, Jenkins build now, if, when you click on build now, it will run for the first time. So that is uh, build number one. If you build it again, that is build number two. If you build it second, third time, that is build number three. Like that, it is keep on iterating. So if you want, uh, if let's say if you are building, uh, so if you do not add that number at the end, then what happens? If you try and build the same image, image for the second time, you'll get an error saying that that image is already there, right? So instead of that, what I'm doing, I'm giving build a number. This is uh, particular to your Jenkins, okay? And this is the name that I'm given. Okay, so this should be your uh, Docker Hub uh, uh, name. Okay, so Docker Hub username. If you see here, YLM and YLMT. So that is my Docker Hub uh, login credentials. So username. So I'm providing the same here. And the name of the image I'm giving as Flask app with a build number. And where is that Docker file pro pro located? It is in the current directory. So I'm specifying dot here. Okay, after that, it needs to log into your Docker Hub. So here you are just running a simple Unix command or a Linux command that logs into your Docker Hub. If you see here, 
I'm echoing the Docker Hub credentials that I have stored here. This is what we have, right? So I'm echoing that. And what I'm doing, I'm just typing Docker login iPhone and you and I'm passing the, the these things here. I'm passing whatever the output that I get here from this environment variable, I'm passing it here into this, right? So that is what I'm doing. Last stage is to push the code, uh, push the image that we built in the stage one. Right, so, so this is what we, uh, this is the image, this will, this particular command will build an image and we need to push that image to this particular Docker Hub. So if you go back to my repositories here, right now if you see there are no repositories, right? So after building it, you will get to see uh, some images that we build, okay? So later on, automatically it will log out, right? So this, this entire thing whatever we were doing in the stage two or the step two that has been automated using pipeline right so are you excited to see how it works right so if you are excited comment down below okay now let me go back to my jenkins here we were stopped right here right so now let us continue so it will ask where is your pipeline script located whether you are writing the script here so what you can do is you can directly copy and paste this script here itself okay let me do that what you can do is you can just copy and paste the script here itself or you can also write the script here itself okay so what best thing you can do is you can store that particular Jenkins file in the github itself so if you see here in my flask demo application I also have docker file and and the Jenkins file right so if you see here in Jenkins file we were using dot dot indicates that that Jenkins sorry docker file is located in the same directory so that is why I provide it here okay so this Jenkins file and docker file both are here itself now what I can do is so I can use this particular Git, GitHub link and provide it here in the Jenkins. Okay. So what I can select is Jenkins, uh, Gen script, Jenkins script from the SCM source code management. Okay. What is your SCM? My SCM is Git. Okay. What is the repository URL? So I copied the repository URL and I'll paste it here. Okay. That is all. So if it is a private repository, you will have to store a credential for your private repository and add it here. So as this is a public repository, I don't have to add a credential. Okay. Next, if you have multiple branches, which branch are you in, in which branch are you using? So my branches. So if you see my branches main, so I'll go back and change it. Okay. I'll just say main. Okay. So next, uh, you keep everything as default and it is asking what is the script path. So I, I directly have Jenkins file here itself. So let's say inside templates, you have Jenkins file. Then what you have to do is templates slash Jenkins file. Okay, so that is what you have to do. But right now, as soon as you clone that repository, you will get the Jenkins file. So it is fine. Okay, keep rest of the things as default and click on save. Okay, now you have created your Jenkins file and Jenkins pipeline. Now what you have to do, if you want to work with it, you will have to build the image, right? So whatever we were mentioning in the Jenkins file, we'll have to test if it working fine or not. For that, what you have to do for the first time, you can just click on build now. So the entire process happening behind the scenes will be seen here. If you see here, we have declarative, check out SCM, we have Docker, uh, build Docker image, we have login to Docker Hub, we have push image. So if you go back to my GitHub and Jenkins file, you see all the stages, build Docker image, go back and check, build Docker image, right? Login to Docker Hub, login to Docker Hub, push image, push image is our last stage. Right. But if you, you might ask what, where am I getting this declarative checkout? So if you go back to your configure here, we mentioned the pipeline, right? So this is what our, uh, the first stage is, right? So we mentioned repository and all. So this is what our first stage is. Okay. So this is our first stage. So I hope you understood this one. So now we are in the last stage that is push image. So let if you want to check out the logs of it, you can just click on this blue icon. Okay. So it will show you all the things that are happening here. First, it is going ahead and getting the, it is getting your uh, GitHub code, right? It is cloning the repository. 
okay after that if you see here the first command docker build hyphen t and the name that we gave right so if you go back to your jenkins pipeline so if you are if you see docker build hyphen t that is what we have here right that step is completed next what the, after that is done if you see here you will get successfully built and successfully tagged so if you remember our uh, step to video you will understand it clearly right next is docker login hyphen t ylmt and password whatever we had if you see here that is a secret and that is passed to this right so if you go back to your uh, jenkins file that is what we have here docker login hyphen u and the username and the password last step is to push that uh, you know image to your docker hub right so let me go back here if you see here docker push this is the name of the image that we had right so if you see here that is pushing the uh, push refers to repository and this is my repository right so ylmt if you see here ylmt so it is going and pushing that image to this particular thing okay so if you see here we are getting a response pushed 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 okay and finally after everything it is logging out that is what we have mentioned here post it is going to log out okay and at the end it is saying success so this pipeline is successfully run let me go back to my docker hub before i was not having any repositories right i'll just refresh the page okay so if i refresh the page it takes some time okay if you see here i have one repository that is created the name is ylmt hyph slash flask app it was pushed two minutes ago just now okay if i go inside that if you see here it will provide full details about this particular thing if you want to use this you know use this particular image you can just uh, use docker push sorry docker uh, pull and you can use this particular uh, image right so that is how you can do and if you see here our tag is one what is one you might ask me right so if you remember we were using build number as our environment variable so this is the first time built so that is why we are having one here if you want to build it again so let me go back okay so let me go back to my uh, docker flask app and if you see here it is successful it shows green so our build number is one here right so this one is getting reflected here okay now if you run it again let me do that i'll just say build now again okay so here if you see it starts one more it starts right as soon as i click on build now it started the pipeline see it is in already push image pipeline and that is also done right so let's go back to our console and see see it is done already okay let me go back to my docker hub and just refresh the page again okay previously we were only having one here right now if you see we have two a few seconds ago so that is where we did where did we get that because we built for the second time this second number is getting there okay if i build it for third time you will have a one more tag with the will if you build it for 15th and 15th time you will have a tag called 15 here right so this is how you can automate this entire process of building an image and pushing an image to your docker hub using jenkins okay so this is a complete project you can add this on your resume as well right so if you want to use this image what you can do is you can just type in docker pull and give this name okay and you can pull this image and you can uh, you know run a container out of this image right so this is how you build the project all right so if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing because i've seen 98% of my channel viewers haven't subscribed to the channel it takes ton of effort and energy please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next devops project until then take care and bye bye